All right, hi everyone. Welcome to Ama Pilates and Yoga. My name is Marisol, and today is going to be the second week of a Pilates for brand new beginner series that I'm doing. If you haven't seen the first week's workout, I'm gonna either put it in a tag right up there or in the description box down below. So check that out, and don't forget that you can also check my website, amapilatescenter.com, for more classes. Other than that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. You don't really need much besides a pillow, just like last week, and it's going to be used so I can show you how to modify certain exercises, but if you already know that you don't need that, then don't grab the pillow. Um, other than that, I'm gonna be wearing weights just like last week, but please don't feel like you have to use these weights. I just like to add weights to everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Sitting on our mat, facing one side of our mat, feet on the floor, knees bent, hands straight forward, sitting up tall. All right, so just like last week, you can use your hands behind the legs. Otherwise, let's round the spine, tuck the chin to the chest, reach back. Maybe we might tap the floor or tap the, the pillow and then come all the way up, kind of like a roll up almost, almost there, almost to a roll up. And then again, round the shirt, pull the waistline back, tap the back of your shirt to the pillow possibly, and then come all the way up to seated. And try to find a rhythm, a breathing pattern that might feel really good for that. It's not necessary, but I always find that if it feels pretty good, it's a lot easier to maintain for a while. Let's go for four. Three. Two, and last one. Good, and come all the way up. I want you to move the pillow so that it kind of lands where your upper back would be. I'm gonna put my one hand behind my head to hold up my hair, but we're still gonna reach the arms forward, round the spine, lean back until your upper back can lay down on the pillow comfortably. Hands behind the head, supporting the weight of your head. Inhale, lean up and over the pillow. Elbows are open. Just take a moment to enjoy this stretch of the upper body. And now exhale, tuck the chin or bring your, sh your chin to your shirt and then lift the shirt up or lift your chest up and then again. Good, so it's kind of like, I always think of myself as like, I'm leaning over a ledge and then I'm exhale coming up. I'm leaning over a ledge and then exhale come up. Um, and a lot of the times people will have their hands like barely touching the back of their head. But I, I always say that when, especially at the beginning when you're trying to build your neck strength, Use your hands to help support that weight. That's why they're there. Let's go last two. One, hold the chest lifted, pause here. Now, just like last week, you're gonna rotate the upper body to the right hand side, but bring the right leg to tabletop. So it's almost like left rib to right hip. And then come back to center, do the same thing to the other side. Or you could think your elbow's trying to touch your leggings. You got it. And just like last week, I'm gonna have one side of the back of my shirt lifted off the pillow when I'm doing this, and then I'm gonna switch to the other side. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, come back to center, good. And now hug the right knee into the chest. Remember that anytime you need to rest the head on the pillow, you can. Otherwise, stretch the leg out long, lift the chest, use the arm strength you've got, and then inhale, exhale, switch. Yeah, so at any point, and I forgot to mention that, but at any point you need to move your pillow 
so that it's behind your head and you're resting the back of your head down while you're doing the rest of your body movements, go for it, go for it. Eventually that'll go away as soon as you start to build a little bit more strength in your neck. And it's not all or nothing. You can try a few reps with the chest lifted and a few reps with the chest down too. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Hug the right knee in. See if you can straighten the right leg up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, switch. Grab the other side. Inhale, exhale, switch. Grab the other side. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Hug both knees into the chest. Second to last little bit. Stretch the right arm, right leg away from each other. Hug the knees in. Stretch the left arm, left leg away from each other. Hug the knees in. And then of course you can continue to do that or for more of a challenge, stretch both arms, both legs away from each other. Hug the knees in. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Hug the knees in, rest the feet down, hands behind the head, and stretch the upper body over the pillow or just rest the head, neck, and shoulders down. Now for this next one, I am gonna move the pillow and then put the back of my head right on top. Okay, now for this one, you can keep your feet on the floor, knees bent. You can bring your legs to tabletop or my personal favorite, you can stretch your legs up to the ceiling or down closer to the floor. Regardless, your arms are gonna reach forward to the wall in front of you. Bring your legs to the position that you like and we're gonna pump the arms a few inches up, a few inches down. And we're gonna inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five. Bring it in, rest it down. Good, and now we can move the pillow off to the side officially. <laughs> okay, hands down by your side, knees bent, feet separated. When you can, tuck the tailbone, press the hips up, dig the heels into the foamy mat below you, and then lower the hips back down. And again, lift. Inhale, lower. And just start to explore, how high can your hips go? How does that feel? And see, we can go a little higher. So let's go for three, two, and last one. Hold it up at the top, hands pressing down. Bring your right leg to tabletop. Place it back down. Bring your left leg to tabletop. Place it back down and continue. You don't have to go as fast as I do. You can go a little slower. You don't also have to lift your leg as high up as I do. Lift it to where you can. And of course, as you start to get more familiar with things, not more comfortable. I always say comfortable, but it's really the wrong word. As you get more familiar, then start to see what can I do to make this a little bit more challenging for myself. Let's go last three, two, one. Both feet down, slowly lower the spine, relax the hips and let's turn over to our side. This time, instead of laying down on a pillow, let's try four arms on the mat. Top hand either on your hip or right in front of your tummy on the floor. Bottom knee is bent, top leg will lift and lower. Lift and lower. I've already filmed a couple of these today, so my legs are like, oh, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, let's go for five, four, 
three, two, one. Hold it, lower the leg down into the front, lift, pull back down. So these are the same three exercises, sideline exercises as we did last week. Of course, it's a little different in that we have the forearm instead of laying all the way down. So just try it, and if you feel like you need to lay down, of course, you always have that option, but try it for a few reps. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Lift the leg up, flex the foot, bend the knee, bring the knee towards the arm, tricep, elbow, what have you, and then stretch the leg out. Keep the leg lifted, don't drop it down. Bend, bring it in, exhale, push away. Ooh. These never get easier. They get more tolerable, I guess. They just, they always have this very specific uh, type of feeling. If you know, you know. Let's go for five, four. If you're doing this right now, can you lift your leg up higher for me? Three, two, <laughs> one, and relax the leg down. Good, but not for very long. We're actually gonna bend both knees, come up onto your bottom hand, opposite arm reaches out to the side, press the hips up, Reach over, find a delicious stretch, and then lower back down. Let's do that for five, but take it slow. You don't have to go quick. Four. Three. Two. One, and relax. Nice. All right, other side. Forearm down, bottom knee bent. When you're ready, top leg straight, and we're gonna lift the leg up and down. Good, this would be great for having these weights that I'm wearing on my ankles. Like that would be a really great challenge. Um, I've just been loving I love the feeling of my upper body being just a little bit sore. Obviously not super sore to where I can't do anything because that's annoying, but I do like to feel like, oh, I feel strong. I guess that's the word, not sore, strong. I like to feel strong in my upper body. Let's go last three, two, one, lower down, tap, lift, lower down, tap. If you're ever wondering whether being sore means you had an effective workout or not, uh, there is an episode of Pilates Elephants I'll link down below that's really good and it debunks a lot of myths. It's very eye-opening for those of you who are interested. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Lift the leg, flex the foot, bend the knee, bring it in tap the tricep and then press out. Let's go for five, four, lift the leg higher, Ooh, three, two, one, and relax it down, bend both knees, come up onto the bottom hand. When you can, reach the top arm up and over, and relax. Four, three, two, and one. And relax it down. Let's lay down on our tummies. <clears throat> Hands underneath the shoulders, legs are straight. When you're ready, you can lift the legs a little bit if you want to. Lift the chest most importantly on your next inhale and then exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower down. Let's go for three. Two. And one. Lower, but not all the way down. Stretch your arms forward. Lift your right leg up, 
press the left leg down and then lift your left arm up and switch the legs, other side. And switch. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Hands under the shoulders, exhale, push away. Press the hips back. If you need to put the pillow under your knees or under your hands for this next part, um, go for it. Otherwise, knees on the floor, hands in front of you on the mat. Under the shoulders, press your hips forward. Find your modified plank position. Separate your hands a little bit more for your modified push-ups. Bend the elbows out to the side, lower the chest to where you can and push away. Just to where you can. I don't need it to look pretty. You just have to get familiar with this. That's it. Let's go last two. And last one, press the hips back, round the spine, slowly roll up. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. I think you guys are all set. Great job, everyone. Congrats on finishing week two. Week three is gonna get really spicy. You will only need a, a pillow if you need to modify or if you're still working on things like neck strength, abdominal strength, but other than that, you really don't need any pieces of equipment for next week. So stay tuned. And if you want more classes, visit my website. Other than that, I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.